In this video, we're going to take an idea we have for Midjourney Image Prompt and use ChatGTP to help us refine it and create variations to try out different things inside Midjourney. The first thing we want to do is start a new chat in Midjourney and paste in. I need help creating Midjourney prompts to create awesome looking AI images, but there are a few things I need you to understand about Midjourney. Before we go any farther, all the prompts I'm pasting in here, you can get via the link in the description down below to take you to my website, theaiunderground.com, where you can just copy and paste all these prompts. So for this, I'm going to paste in some data from Midjourney from this page specifically on how prompts work. And then I will go to this page, exploring prompting, I'll copy everything in here, paste that in here as well, and then hit enter. And now ChatGTP is going to summarize what I just told it. If you don't want it to summarize all this, you'll want to use up your characters for summarization. At the bottom of this prompt up here, you could type in something like, just say yes if you understand, and then it'll just say yes, hopefully. It might still go off on a tangent, but probably not. The next prompt we're going to use is a formula. I've got inspiration from this from various different creators online. I can't really attribute to an exact one because a lot of people are doing this similar method. But basically, we have a formula. The first part of the formula, image to create. This is just basic mid-journey stuff. You have to tell it what image you want to create. Next, app the five descriptive words or phrases. Next, camera model and lens. Next, lighting. Next, style of photograph. These last ones can be changed to whatever you want. It could be something like video game type or video game genre, digital artist, and color scheme. It could be celebrity name, movie title, and era, like the 50s or 60s or something like that. So you can change these last ones to be whatever you want. We'll try out some various ones in this video. So once that's in there, let's hit enter. Chat GTP understands. And now we're going to ask for specific prompts. So we're going to type in here, using the form provided, please write a prompt for Batman posing at night for a Gotham City PR campaign. So when you use this prompt, you'd paste in this piece right here, and then you describe the image you want right there. Click on go, and we should get a prompt for what we asked for, which in this case is this. So let's just copy that, put this in the mid journey and see what happens. And believe it or not, this is not for that PR campaign. This is from a different video I recorded a moment ago. This was the inspiration video that I referenced actually earlier in this video. There's Batman. Those all look pretty slick for the PR campaign for Gotham City. Probably too much to ask to have Batman smile because that'd be totally out of character. So let's try something else. Let's have it create multiple prompts to see if we can get some variation. So I'm going to write, that's pretty awesome. Please write six majority prompts for Batman posing at night for Gotham City PR campaign. So now it's going to write six prompts. You can have whatever number you want. It could be two, three, four, five, even 10 if you want. And these will just be different combinations of things that ChatGTP is just inventing based on our formula that we can then copy and paste and try out. This one includes the Batmobile. So I think I want to try that one. Those look pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Let's uh, update the formula. Make it something like what I described earlier where we're replacing the back half of the formula right here. I'm just going to talk to ChatGTP like I talk to a regular human. So we'll just type this in. Let's change the formula to image to create up to five descriptive words or phrases, video game genre, digital artist, strict color scheme. And these last ones, again, change them to whatever you want. And then just say yes if you understand. Hopefully this will keep ChatGTP from being too long-winded. Okay, it worked. Now I type in with the updated formula, please create five mid-journey prompts of a ninja dragon. And then it should fill in all the rest of the things according to the formula. These all look pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna do this one right here. And I'm gonna add in an aspect ratio, 16 by nine to make it wide. Those are pretty cool. I like this one up here the best, looks more like a ninja. Other ones look like he has lightsabers. I like that one. Although it doesn't look like a dragon, it looks like a dragon werewolf hybrid. Anyway, my point is that you have ChatGTP generate these ideas for you and these variations on what you want to create and you try them out. The thing with Midjourney, the thing you have to wrap your head around is you can type in Ninja Dragon here as your image prompt and you can maybe get the exact thing you want, but probably not. You have to try different things, try different prompts, include different ideas, but it's hard to know what to include, especially when you're just starting out. So having ChatGTP help you with that using these formulas that we used over here is a game changer. It will help you go so much faster. Just to prove it to you, let's do one more. Let's do this one right here. 
And there we have something completely different because we have a different digital artist, a different color scheme, and a different prompt for the dragon itself and how it's posing. So I think that's proof that using ChatGTP to come up with different ideas is gonna help you make better prompts faster and get to the images that you want sooner. Next up, I recommend you watch this video right here, which is all about using ChatGTP to come up with ideas for mid-journey prompts if you don't even know what the topic of your photo is. Check out that video and check out this playlist right here, which is all about mid-journey. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from the AI Underground. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.